And I'm so excited because we got a great device called the Indivice, which is used to make a smartphone smarter and to be able to use a camera function on it so that it works closer to a DSLR. And I'm really excited about this because I'm going to be doing a photo shoot actually this week and we're going to get the chance to take a look at some of the capabilities of this device. So we're going to open up this box. We just got this today earlier. The UPS man was kind enough to drop it off. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Really excited about this because there's so many things you can do now with a smartphone, whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android, with a uh, an app such as Filmic Pro that allows you to shoot to the uh, average consumer the quality that you would see on most broadcast cameras. And if you're doing something more cinematic, this allows you to get closer to what they might see also, whether you're gonna ultimately just be a web series or if you're gonna be doing something closer to um, something more on screen, like a, like a big screen experience. This is an amazing opportunity to be able to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this box and just kind of see how it's packaged, what Indivice has to offer us. I'm really excited about this. I'm shooting this right now on an iPhone. Of course, I'm not using Filmic Pro, just using the normal native app that comes on iPhone, but this is a great opportunity to expand what you have already. So it tells us ahead of time what we have available here. This is fantastic. Looks like we have here Indie Vice Pro, the Indie Vice Lens Fisheye, the Indie Vice Lens Telephoto, the Indie Vice Lens Wide Angle, and the 67 millimeter lens hood, as well as these other adapters. So if we have any lenses that we want to add to this device. I'm, I'm very curious about using those. What's great about this week as we're shooting this video is that we're actually going to be working with a professional cinematographer who is a veteran cinematographer who's been working in this business for over 30 or 40 years really. And so I'm excited to see what is possible when you have a really great cinematographer. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have here, it looks like this 52 millimeter lens. Take that out. We have also a fish eye lens and we have here the wide angle lens we're going to take a look at these a little bit later but let's just see what they have to offer us so we sent us in this box of goodies and i'm so excited about the possibilities of what we can shoot using just an iphone now, i've seen some great footage in the past that's been shot on iphone but i always wonder what would happen if you use not only the right lenses but also really great cinematographer you know, some people make excuses. They say, oh, you have an iPhone, so I can't really shoot it very well, or I don't have the right lighting, or I don't have the right this and that. But I'm just curious, if you do all those things right, and you work with some great talent, and you work with some great cinematographers and a gaffer and or a sound person, or if you're a one-man person or one-woman person who's able to do this stuff, can you come up with something that's really um, exciting to look at? Uh, a narrative uh, filmmaking in particular. So this looks like a 67 millimeter, must be an adapter I'm assuming. So we're gonna open up these in just a second, but this is the this is the, the big deal. This is what we're really looking for here. This is the actual indie device. The indie device it's called. And I'm gonna open this up, get this out here. Give me just a second here. I'm gonna turn like this, and take a better look at it. It's also easier for me to look at and pull out because I'm using one hand to <laughs> shoot this thing and then one hand to uh, Pull it out. Give me just a second here. All right, now we got it. Now we're in business. I'm gonna pull this out. So we have the actual box. I'm gonna take care of this little thing, dispose of that. And just to give you an idea of how they packaged it, it looks like it's really well packaged. It took some time and care in it. I'm gonna turn it around so you can take a look at that. All the different, different uh, sources, freestyle, smartphone shooting. Shoot from every angle. There are some examples there. The type of shooting you can do. It's a lot of you know really emphasis on mobile journalism and action sports and filmmaking in particular. I'm very curious what it will look like with a cinematic experience, and that's where we're going to come as close as we possibly can to shooting not only narrative content but also maybe some commercial television film style um, 
look here, you can take a look at some of the information here in the packaging here. It talks about, you know, 180 degree flip screen technology, um, talks about stability, uh, talks about all these different uh, aspects of this unit. I'm so excited about this. Now, of course, you need a phone to begin with. You can't have an indie device without an actual phone. But assuming that you have that already, this is supposed to enhance experience of filmmaking. So let me just open this up. Hopefully it opens up easily with one hand. <laughs> if not, I'm going to slide it out. I think I have to slide it out. Let's see here. One second here. Put you down there. Pull it out. Slide this out. Let's see if I can take it off. Ah, there we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off, slide it out. It comes off actually pretty easily. It's just that I'm using one hand instead of two, so it's, it may not look like it's very easy to take off, but it actually is. I'm gonna slide it off from here. So look how well packaged this is. This is fantastic. I'm really excited about this. So we got actually get this off one second here. We got a review copy. So I'm assuming that after we're done shooting that we'll actually send this back. But I'm still excited about this. This is the actual box it comes with. It's packaged in this. As you see, this is the horizontal part. I'm gonna take this off. Let's see. Look at this. I'm so excited. Here we go. Wow. Look at that. It looks like a camera in itself. Really. It looks like a DSLR type of camera, or camcorder type of camera. And you can see, um, it looks like it's pretty sturdy. It is made out of plastic, uh, but it doesn't feel cheap, but it does feel light. Now look at this handle right here. This is really good packaging. It's Velcro snap right here, which is fantastic. Um, it also has a little, let's see here, it looks like a little, I'm assuming this is gonna go on the uh, tripod or something. Can't really see what it is. I'm opening it up, we'll do it later. Um, we also have here, look how well packaged this is. It's really, it took some time to really, really make sure that this was packaged well. Um, you can see here the different parts of it. Looks like this is where you will place your viewfinder. Um, you're gonna slide your camera right in that spot right there. Look at some of the details they talk about here. About how to lock it, the control. The controller handles guides and this is where the actual lens is now it comes with a lens to begin with but there's some other lenses you see here we have some lens to choose from that we can take a look at which i'm excited to to try and I, be I believe that this right here is the actual adapter so that's basically what we have to offer with the main unit we're going to open up some of these um lenses just to kind of take a look at what they look like and what they have to offer here this is, look how well packaged it is. It really took the time to make sure this was secure, to make sure that this was pleasing to the eye. That really tells you a lot about a company. I'm impressed. It's actually, this, this is not a cheap little cloth. This is like, it feels like, almost like a, like a suede leather type of cloth. And they take the time to really make sure that it's well packaged. Look at this. They packaged it yet again. This is a heavy lens. I haven't tried the lens out. I'm not gonna open it right now. But you can see here that it comes with this lens. Again, I'm really impressed by this packaging. The suede, leather feeling packaging. They obviously took time to make sure that it's quality. You'll feel like you're getting a cheap product whatsoever. I'm just gonna open up these real quickly. I'm assuming they're packaged the same. I'm gonna open up this one. This is the 52 millimeter wide angle lens. Open it up, it's packaged also the same. Take a look at this. So that's fantastic. I'm going to open up also this one, which is a 52 millimeter as well, but this is the 52 millimeter telephoto lens. I'm gonna open up that. I'm really excited about that as well. Open up this. Also packaged the same in that fantastic suede leather packaging. I wish you could feel it through the screen. It's just kind of a tough, thick material that they use, which I can only assume if it's not suede leather, it's probably something similar to it. Although I really believe it's probably suede leather. Let's, let's 
it's just really good. And then let's see what this is. I'm assuming this is an adapter that you would put your own lens on or that you would fit onto this contraption so that you can fit these lenses on it. Yeah, these are adapters. So you've got multiple types of adapters here. You see that? Actually, okay. And, ooh. It's metal. It's fantastic. It's not plastic, I don't believe. This feels like it is a foam feeling to it as well as a plastic feel. It's not too heavy, not too light. It truly took the time to make sure that it's something that you can take on the go as well as something that you feel will last a while. And that's really important because, you know, as indie filmmakers or as writer producers who are working on projects of their own or who are just beginning their career with a limited amount of, of clients, you don't have the resources usually in order to keep pumping money into you know, supplies and into equipment and into staff. So you really have to use your resources so that they are, you know, what you, what you buy is quality, you know it's gonna last a while. And that's what I love so much about this so far that they really took the time. And that really shows you a lot without having even tried the product. That they, if they took this time to package it right, that that tells me that they care about the customer or consumer experience. And that really reflects what they feel about their company, what they feel about the product, what they feel about the consumer. I'm really excited about this. I wanna show you once again what it looks like. I'm keeping this fastened. But you can see here that this is an easy grab. It's made out of plastic, it is, it's a hard plastic, but it's light enough that you can uh, feel like you can take it on the go. It is sturdy enough, it feels like it's gonna last, as long as you don't drop it off of a you know, six story building or something like that. It has a little strap here that you can hold on to, slip your hand right into that. This is made out of a leather type of feel, maybe a pleather type of feel, but it's a quality. Flip this over, you can see that. This is made out of a soft um, type of felt type of material. Turn this around so you can take a look at this. is right where, you can see the lens is in there already, but this is right where you would slip your smartphone into, and right through there. You can see that it goes right underneath there. And what's great about that is it's also universal. So you're able to use just about any phone. I'm assuming because it's adjustable. I have an iPhone which I'm shooting right now to make this video, but I'm looking forward to actually trying this out um, this week. Once again, we're having a professional cinematographer come here. We're gonna shoot quite a bit of talent, doing some short pieces, uh, demonstrating what it looks like with really great lighting, with really great sound, with really great camera movement. And I'm really excited about showing the world what is possible with an iPhone using the Indie device?